Hey, Katie here, and welcome to my channel. Today we are doing another 365 hairstyles. Today, I think we're going to keep it pretty simple, pretty quick, pretty easy. I'm just now getting over being sick, although I do still have quite a bit of sniffles left in me. I'm getting all my chores done. It's my day off getting all those done, doing a bunch of other stuff. I have to start working out again. So I'm gonna go do that today. So I, we're just gonna do some simple twists. And so that's gonna be pretty fun. Gonna do it similar to how the braid and the fishtail were, where I'll do one side pigtail with the hair tie and the other side, we're just gonna do it regular without any hair tie holding it up so time to get into that <laughs> gotta put the hair tie up putting that behind the ear go flatten this all out much like the fishtail braid it's not going to look right if you don't do it right it is really easy once you get the hang of it though. So we're going to we're going to separate the hair into even sections. And you have to twist both sections in the same direction. We're going to go ahead and do it to the right. So twist one getting all those hairs twisted together at the same time. And if you're twisting your hair sections to the right, you're going to start the twist to the left. So we're going to move those to the back and take the other hair section and twist it to the right. And move that to the back, holding this other hair section so that it stays twisted. Give that one or two twists. Pull it a little bit. Pull it to the back. A second hair section. You want to pull that. Twist it once or twice. Move it to the back. And it is literally as simple as that. And you can see that it's creating some nice defined cording going on with your hair and you could do a bunch of cute things with this nice tight twists and if you get a section that's kind of more like out there you can just go in, pull that. So we're coming to the ends. Now I'm just going to take one of my hair ties. Put it up. Voila! <laughs> so that is a twist. I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like if you are doing it incorrectly. So that's twisting to the left and putting the twist together to the left. Just going to quickly put this hair tie up real quick. One thing I have noticed about twists is that if you have a loose hair like this, it might take a little bit more time to get the twist started. It's going to twist all that hair up there. But, so we're going to twist this hair to the left, put it to the back, twist this hair to the left, put it to the back, I'm just going to keep doing that every time I'm taking hair, 
into my left hand, I'm twisting it. So you just want to make sure that you're consistently twisting your hair sections in the same direction. Now, by twisting the section and your hair wrapping around itself in the same direction, you're not going to end up with those defined hair cords like this one. And I can show you this later, but it's also not going to hold its shape. Oh, that's kind of cute. It's not going to stay, even if you put the hair tie at the bottom of it. It's just going to twist itself back out. Okay. So, we're going to go ahead and do this without the hair tie. Once again, going at the back of the neck, we're just going to section out those hair in even sections. And this is going to just ensure that the twist looks all right. So to do it without the hair tie behind the ear, just to make sure that it looks nice and against my scalp, I believe what I want to do is twist the sections to the right. So we're going to we're going to wrap the sections to the right. So we're going to twist the hair to the left. Just going to twist those to the left. And because we're going to the right, we're going to put it over the back hair section and twist that to the left as well. Twisting it just, uh, just tight enough so that it doesn't hurt. Putting that section to the front, giving a nice, nice little tug. Twisting our section on the left, putting that over. Just repeating what we did on the other side now. Pulling it every once in a while. Giving a nice little twist there. Every time the section of hair goes to what would, I guess, technically be the back of the braid because we're moving the hair to the front. And that's how I'm going to, to look at it. We're just going to keep wrapping, twisting and wrapping. Now, because I have dreads, I can't really go all the way down to the tip to show you that it will stay completely with such large sections of hair. I do have some twists in my hair of sections of dreads that didn't look so great. But as you see, it stays pretty firmly in place. Now if you're wanting to put your hair up in smaller twists, you're gonna wanna go, just keep going down, keep going down, um, until you get to your fine little baby hairs and you're going to want to twist those probably about 10 times maybe. Uh, and when you let go, there's only going to be like maybe four twists in those fine baby hairs. And it'll hold for, for a while, maybe about a day. I don't know. <laughs> Mine has stayed in for years, so <laughs> I'm not washing my hair though every day, getting it wet tossing it around. That might have something to do with it. I'm not 100% sure on it. So you see how we have this one right here? That's just little lumps. You can go in 
twist it to undo it and put it back, kind of pulling. You can pull the sections apart a little bit, push them up, push them down, just kind of fix that. Twist it tighter. There you go. Nice twisted twist. So the difference that we have here is the hair tie. There you go. Hair tie, you have it just sitting flat against your head. The hair tie into the twist. And on this side, we have it, this top section up here, moving to the back, keeping any baby hairs off your face. This section in the back, moving to the front, keeping all of these wispies off your neck, going into the braid, the twist. I really messed that one up, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, it's good enough. It's chore day. Chore day. Ain't like I'm going to a ball tonight. <laughs> there we go. Yep. That's going to be our nice little twists that we have. And obviously you want to if you're doing the pigtails or multiple twists, you could do a twist, just one twist in the back, that's ponytail, you could have it hanging off right there in the nice golden spot where you follow your cheekbones up, and that's where you put your ponytail, nice little bob there, that's some nice stuff, I think I heard that from Cosmo Vogue YouTube channel or something, probably Vogue YouTube channel, um, yeah. And so I'm just going to, I'm just going to leave it at that. I hope y'all have a lovely, positive, productive day. Keep those dreams going. Bye.